Hello, everybody. You know the dealio. Testing out the audio, getting everything set up. I'll be on in just a few minutes. Let me know if the audio sounds a little wonky. I didn't get a chance to, like, plug everything in the way I usually do, so I'm not really sure how it's sounding. Um, but, yeah, let me know. Okie dokie. Artichoke. Hey everybody! Johnny coming out of the gates. We'll get to that in just a second. First off, but 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 thank you so much. Oh my gosh. That okay. Anyhow, hey everybody! Welcome to live stream. So today we've only got a couple of hours. Uh so I'm gonna start I'm gonna try to go through everything real quick and just get get rocking and rolling. Uh, and explain everything that's going on right now. So, hi, it's been a second. I know uh, I missed you guys a bunch, but I'm here now. And today we're going to be crocheting a dragon. We've already got a green dragon and a blue dragon and a red dragon, but you guys wanted a gold dragon. So I thought this would be cool for the main color and this for our secondary color, like the horns and stuff, a very like rich gold for those. So that's what we're going to be making today. If you want to crochet along, there are a few, uh, here are, blah, blah, blah. here's what you need. So you're going to need two different, or three different colors of yarn. You're going to need your main color, your secondary color, and uh, white. That's going to be for the teeth. You'll also need some, oh, a crochet hook. I'm using a size G, four millimeter crochet hook for this pattern. Uh, and you need some scissors, a darning needle. You'll need four whole pipe cleaners, four pipe cleaners. I know, it's a lot of pipe cleaners, right? And some safety bead eyes. I'm using six millimeter safety bead eyes for this one. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna start selling these in the shop soon. I think they're gonna be a little shorter, um, but with like 200, 100 or 200 eyes, you get it to decide. So that's gonna be coming soon to the shop. But speaking of shop, while you're getting all your stuff together, oh, duh, you're also gonna need the pattern. Uh, the pattern is available right here, clubcrochet.com slash dragon. It is uh, for sale there, but you also can get it with a membership account if you would like to, and we'll talk about that in just a second. While you're getting your materials all together, here uh, is a few ways you can help support this channel if you'd like to, and you like this channel and you think, oh man, it'd be really cool if he could quit his job and do this full time. I agree, that would be cool, and you can help out. And here are a few different ways you can do so. First off, uh, you can do the cheapest, easiest, freest way to support by liking and subscribing down below. Easy squeezy. Just give it a like, give it a subscribe. I'm really hoping this one gets a whole bunch of likes because 
Uh, I just really like this dragon a lot, so that'd be cool. Um, and the best way to support is with a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to an, all of the patterns on the website, which includes this dragon pattern. And, and uh, they, they even get kits mailed to their door each month with everything that they need to make whatever they... Oh my gosh! Cooper! Dude! Ooh, you guys slow down. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, uh, with all the, bleh. each month you can get a uh, kit mailed to your door with all the materials that you need to make whatever you're making. This month's kit was for a dragon. So this was this month's kit. Next month's kit, uh, I'll give you a quick little preview and we'll talk about it a little bit later as well. Um, but if you would like to sign up for a pro membership, this is what gonna, is going to be next month's kit. Uh, you guys might notice it. It is a carnivorous alien plant, a.k.a. Uh, it does have a name. Maybe you guys uh, might know the name in the chat. This is going to be this month's kit. It's going to come with a pot and all the materials that you need to actually make it as well. I'm very, very excited for this pattern. But we'll talk about that more a little bit later. Other ways you can help support, you can buy merch and uh, kits in the shop. The dragon kit will be added to the shop later today. And we do have a bunch of different merch. There are stickers. There's a bunch of stickers. I'm gonna be adding some more stickers this week as well. But here we got some some stickers. My favorite one is the professional hooker sticker. And then we also got some pins. I got a brand new pin for you guys. So we got our green pin, but I also got a pink one added. So if you would like to get a pink pin. I, th I like the pink one a lot. I kind of wish I made the green one with the white backing the way this one does, but we'll see. Later, um, I might do that again in the future um, and obviously there's kits available and the other way you can help support which two people already like knocked out of the park like oh my gosh is you can donate to the channel um, and if you donate I put something out for you throughout the live stream now I'm gonna take these dragons out of here I'm gonna keep the castle up just for a second and I'll explain why um, but we're gonna put some stuff out for Johnny who gave a uh, $20 donation before we even like really started and I'm gonna put out I want to put out some big some big nice uh, Nice goblins and stuff since we're making a dragon anyhow. Oh here here I haven't come up with a name for this guy, but man I think he is the coolest cutest looking dude ever. So this is gonna be out for you Johnny I don't know what his name is, but he he doesn't have an eye and the reason he doesn't have an eye is uh, it's an ogre, by the way. And the reason he doesn't have an eye is not because he lost it in war, but because his friend lost his in battle. And so this guy gave his eye to his friend. Again, I don't know the name of it. Johnny, let me know if you got an idea for a name for that guy. I'll put him right there. And uh, we'll get rid of this in just a second once I explain what that is. But before that, we got to put out something for Mr. Cooper. Thank you so much. We're going to put out... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's go with a hobgoblin. You know what? I think I've got a, yeah, hold on. Let me grab this hobgoblin over here. Oh, this one. This one. I like this guy. This is going to be out for you, Cooper. He's got a bad case of uh, fungal fever. I think that's what I called it. These are little mushrooms that are coming off of him. Uh, that are very edible and actually orcs and ogres really like to eat these and he's got an apple on his head for a reason I don't know why <laughs> We're gonna put him there um, Actually, we might put him behind the castle To give us some room. Yeah, and let me explain this castle real quick and Move this stuff out of the way. So we are running a club crochet challenge right now If you crochet a castle and you post it to the discord the reddit or Instagram with hashtag Club Crochet Challenge, you'll get a chance to win some money. Uh, and also just because it's fun, you also get bragging rights for making the coolest castle. Now you don't have to make a castle just like this. You can make a castle however you want. Um, in fact, uh, creativity is definitely preferred because people are going to vote on it um, and the best castle will win. So if you got a creative idea, like maybe you want to make the castle from Frozen or you want to make the castle from whatever or you want to make up your own castle or you want to make a spaceship castle whatever you want to do make a castle post a picture you might win we're gonna put that right here we're gonna move we're gonna hide that corner stuff there we go and uh, let's get hooking because we are well behind um, like I said we got to finish this at um, 
I I only can go till 4 p.m. today because Jules has an event that she is running in this room. So I need to get out of here by 4 p.m. But don't worry, I'll be back on Wednesday. We're gonna be doing a double live stream this week. One today and one on Wednesday. I'm actually pretty excited because this we definitely won't be able to finish this in one video anyhow because it's a pretty long pattern. So I just thought it would be a lot of fun to do a double live stream anyhow. Um, and I'm glad I get to do it twice in one week instead of twice in like two weeks. But yes. And hello everybody in the chat. Thog. Thog. His name is Thog now. He is a beautiful Thog. Cooper, what did you want to name your uh, your hobgoblin here? With his little um, <laughs> infection. It's not really a bad infection though. It's a good infection that he has. Because... Uh, they really like to take those they they take the little purple mushrooms that are growing off of off of people that have this fungal fever and uh, they turn it into uh, a jelly that they call rash mash and they drink it and it's disgusting but they love it <laughs> just a fact about goblinoids they really like eating rash mash Which brand of yarn do I use? You know, right now, I think this gold yarn is, uh, usually I use worsted weight cotton yarn, uh, or worsted weight cotton yarn, and usually I use lily sugar and cream, but, uh, ooh, cool. Uh, but this is, I think this is a lion brand or Bernat yarn. I'm not really sure. It's worsted weight 100% cotton, I know that but I'm not really sure what the brand is for this gold one. Um, Tina, thank you so much. Another, you guys are kicking butt on donations right now. Tina, thank you. Let me put out a little dude for you. I mean, as always, I, I wanna put out more goblins and stuff just because I'm addicted to goblins. I really do have a serious addiction to goblins. I was watching, um, a show that I like called Um Actually. It's from College Humor. And in it, they were, um, they, they had a, it's basically like a trivia show for nerds. And one of them, they had like a bunch of goblins on screen. You had to guess the name of all the goblins. And I knew like eight out of 10 goblins. It was a surprising, a surprising amount of goblins. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, unscrum, unscrum, you're go you're, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Johnny. Which one was unscrum? This, the hobgoblin or the ogre was unscrum? I'm so sorry. I got to put name tags on these dudes when you guys name them. That would be really fun, actually. Okay, I'm going to buy those online. Little pins with little paper. And I'll just put them in so that we have little names for them. Little name tags. Hello, my name is unscrum. <laughs> Um, well, this dude is out for you, T Tina, and, or maybe we should just have, like, a big, huge, uh, like, list with pictures and their names and stuff. Flipsy! Flipsy Goblin. Yeah, little miniature ones that say, hell, oh, okay, well, sorry, sorry, Cooper, you don't get to name your, uh, name your Hobgoblin. This is Thog, and this is Unscrum, as as was already their name. You can you can give him a middle name if you'd like. <laughs> so we're working on the arms right now of the dragon, and this pattern is a little tough. I'm not gonna lie. This is probably one of the most difficult patterns that's in my library, but it is so cool. And the reason it's difficult really isn't because it's like necessarily really hard to make. I would say it is not easy to crochet, but it does have a lot of different pieces, a lot of things that are sewn together. So there's a lot of just moving parts that can make it a little bit trickier than the majority of my patterns, especially the ones that are no sew. Um, I, I think that when you add sewing to a pattern, it makes it significantly more difficult, in my opinion. But 
this claw, the, the way I make these claws is the first way I've done this. This is my, um, these little stitches here are my stitch that I call the spiked bobble that I made up. And um, it's the first way I've done it where, I don't know, it just makes like three actual claws in the end. And it's just so cool. And I'm gonna use this for many patterns to come, I'm sure. I am sure. I've tried to add more than three in in the hand, but it can be really difficult because the more fingers you put, the harder harder it is to close your magic close your magic loop. And uh, I found that adding any more on top of this makes it like nearly impossible to close the magic loop without breaking the string. But. I might have to come up with a better technique in the future. I use a different magic loop. You guys, can I just say, the chat, you guys are so great in the chat. Everybody's always so nice to each other and I just really appreciate the, I just appreciate you guys a bunch. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining and watching and crocheting along or just hanging out and talking in the chat. I really appreciate it. It makes my Sundays. I was looking forward to this all week. Because it's been like a second. I've had the most busy few weeks. I went to a wedding a few weeks ago. That was like a whole thing. I mean, as you can probably imagine, going to a wedding right now is a little scary. So that was spooky. And then I went to my, you know, I, a, then a week went by. And then I went to my aunt's 100th birthday, which was also like, oh my gosh, just a lot of traveling that's kind of spooky right now. And so I haven't had much time to do anything at all. I had to skip last week's live stream because I was just like going crazy. But I'm really excited to get back in the swing of things. And I think the future is looking bright. Oopsies, I started decreasing. We don't have decreases yet. It's all single crochets for a few rounds. Maybe I should read my pattern. Oh my gosh, so wait, you guys have a full name for him? Unscrum Puelis Talele. I love that. <laughs> Unscrum Puelis Talele. What a beautiful name. L Wolverine, love the streams. Enjoyed last stream so much. Saw Jules last time. Hope she's doing well. Thank you so much. She is doing well. She is uh, preparing for this event right now so she's not going to be able to come say hi today but she's doing great thank you so much for asking hey thanks ps fusion ps fusion help zone what a name yes i did just say my aunt was a hundred she just turned 100 years old we had a birthday party for her um, last week. Not too crazy of a birthday party, but still enough. It was actually not on her birthday either. It was on my cousin's birthday, <laughs> who just turned 24, which was kind of funny that we were celebrating my aunt's birthday on my cousin's 100th birthday. Or, you know what I meant. It's not really my aunt. She's my great aunt. She's my mother's aunt. Auntie Mary is what we call her. Which is funny because my mom's name is also Mary. So we got Auntie Mary and my my cousins have an Aunt Mary and an Auntie Mary. Very different from each other. Ah, Cold Blooded Adventures. Well, you got a stockpile of crochet kits to work on. You know, I felt like um, everybody's kind of having a bit of a crazy summer. Every, you know, things are opening back up here and there or like, I, I totally get it. It's a crazy summer, but it's nice to have a little backlog of crochet kits. I guess the nice thing about these crochet kits is that they're not that big of projects to make, you know? I mean, they're, they're not super duper small. Some are, I guess, smaller than others, but the majority of them can be made in about two hours, probably. This one's probably the biggest of the crochet kits. For, for a while. By the way, did you guys... I didn't get to see the chat when I was showing you... Um, oh, man, there was a Fortnite event? Okay, well you got Coffee Crochet. Tell me about that Fortnite event. But also... Uh, um, 
I forgot what I was saying. I need more coffee. Oh, did you guys um tell me what the name was of that of that of next month's kit? Are you guys excited for that? Because I am very excited for that kit. I have been working on that pattern for a long time. And I kind of put it on hold for like a few years, to be honest. So I'm really excited to get back to it. And uh, and I'm just excited that it's actually gonna come with a little miniature pot that you can actually put your carnivorous alien plant into. That's right, it's Audrey 2. It's right! I'm so excited. Very, very excited. It's a very unique pattern, too. I'm looking back at it now, and I'm like, wow, what a... Like, I went wild with this pattern. Because <laughs> all I had was a rough draft written. Oh man, I totally missed the Fortnite. I haven't played Fortnite in like at least a couple months. And Jules and I were actually talking about that yesterday. We were like, you know, we haven't played Fortnite in so long. We should give it a shot again. I bet you it's a new season. Because I last season was okay, but I wasn't like super duper into it. Super duper into it. I've just been playing a lot of Super Smash Brothers. Uh, I want to try Psychonauts 2. And I really want to try the new WarioWare game very badly. Oh, and I've been playing Skyward Sword every now and then. But I need to get back into it. I'm very excited to play all the new games that are coming out, though. And super excited to see who the last Smash Brothers character is. But that's just my nerdiness. That's just my my nerdiness. It's a pleasure to meet you, my nerdiness. <laughs> I have also been working on Stitched a bunch. Yes, I do, Mel Bell. Here you go. So the pot's going to be a lot smaller than this, but this is Audrey 2. This is going to be next month's crochet kit. Um, again, you can sign up for it by becoming a pro member by just, I think you just go to clubcrochet.com slash membership or just clubcrochet.com. You can sign up for an account and choose your membership then. But the pro membership this month is going to be for Audrey too. The pot's going to be a lot smaller than this, which I actually like a lot because this is like an invasively large pot for this dude. So it's going to be like significantly smaller pot. Uh, and it comes on a, it's going to come with a, darn needle that you make it on so you can put it you don't even have to put it in the pot you can put it into anywhere any kind of dirt or whatever you want it to go into um, and it's going to look a little bit different than this uh, just mostly because the pot insert you're actually going to crochet instead of making ju just like having yarn loose yarn there um, but yes I'm very very excited about this uh, and you'll be able to make your vines and everything for it so super excited uh, it won't come with any blood to feed your carnivorous plant with so you're gonna have to pr uh, provide your own blood sorry about that or at least like blood of someone you might know that you're that is willing to give up their blood or not willing to give up their blood and you take it anyhow <laughs> it's October or not October yet but it will be October and you know what they say about October you're allowed to you're allowed to steal people's blood in October facts <laughs> Feed me, Seymour. Feed me all now long. So Jules and I have a friend named Sam who actually played the dentist in Little Shop of Horrors, uh, I guess a few years ago now. Um, I love, I love that character. That's the best character. It'll be your birthday. Well, happy early birthday, cold-blooded adventurers. You can't... I don't know if Audrey's like cold blood. You might need to give it regular blood. <laughs> it's all good. Dumb Dog Studios, no worries. Donate if you can. If you can't, I totally get it. Just 
I don't know, like the like the video if you haven't yet. That'd be cool. But don't worry about it. Only donate if you can. And thanks for even considering it. Is this the Super Smash Brothers song? Am I just a, that obsessed with Super Smash Brothers? Maybe. Maybe. I think what I want to try to do for this Golden Dragon, by the way, is I think I'm going to try to add some extra details at the end on the arms. And I really want to try making a, um, what's it called? Not a, like, like a harness? Is that the right word? Like something for a someone to ride it that we can take that we can like button on and off of it so we can have a little goblin riding a golden dragon because how cool would that be so that's my goal in the long term we'll see how that goes again we're only going to be able to finish up oh that's cool um oh my gosh you ordered a ceramics cup that's so cool they're really good, right? That is so cool to know. I'm gonna have to let her know. Thank you for thank you for that. Yes, that would be a flesh eating plant, Alice Lee. The best of the best. Did you know that? Actually, I'm gonna save all my carnivorous plant facts for when we crochet it. Instead, I'll I'll tell you my dragon facts. See, what kind of dragon facts do I have? Oh, I know. I have, I have some dragon facts. Uh, did you know that Japanese dragons have uh, three fingers on each on each limb, which is closer to our current dragon? Chinese dragons have four, but if they're a Chinese dragon that was that is for the emperor, it has five claws on each arm so there's your dragon fact for the day dragon facts we need a like a some kind of video that plays like a little splash screen right now dragon facts <laughs> I'm not nearly crazy enough okay so we're almost done with our first arm, I think. I think just a few more stitches. <laughs> Cold-Blooded Adventures has a dragon fact, and it's just that this that the book Wings of Fire is the best ever. What a what a fact. Speaking of dragon facts, did anybody see uh, Shang Chi? I think that's how you say it. Shang Chi. So I think how Americans are saying it. But Shang Chi. I think that's how you actually say his name. It was a movie, the new Marvel movie. I just saw it last night. I won't spoil anything, but it was very good. You should see it. It was like really good. High recommendation from Louie. Whoa. Wait, Johnny says that the Hungarian hoeing tail in Harry Potter is not technically a dragon. How is it not technically a dragon? What is it? Um, she also asked if I could explain the second foot a little slower. I can explain it a little bit, but I do have a full length video tutorial that I already made for this pattern that you can find at the in the pattern at clubcrochet.com slash dragon um, that like I spent a long time on. It's a four. I took four hours to, to for that video, which was it, it is the biggest video I've ever done. So I'm going to say go check that one out because I do explain it in a lot more detail there, but I'll explain it a little bit here. Um, I'll at least explain the most difficult part, which is that we're, you're going to do a bunch of spiked bobbles into your magic loop. So it starts with one single crochet and then a spiked bobble stitch. And if you've looked at my 
if you've done any of my past patterns, uh, like the goblin or, um, let's see, I, I don't know, a bunch of other patterns. I use spiked baubles, which are essentially a bobble stitch with a mini pico in between it. And so what I'm doing here is I'm doing a single crochet, then a spiked bobble, which is, this is the most difficult part of the pattern is doing the claws, I think. And then I do another bit. So here's my first of three spiked bobbles done. See, so I did a single crochet and then a spiked bobble. And then I repeat that again. Here's a single crochet. And it's all going into this magic loop and then I'm gonna pull it tight afterwards. And then the rest of the arm pattern is just like crochet stitches. There's some decreases. It's basically just making it a tube up. Shang Si, Song Shi. That's how you say it. Shang Shi. I have been. Oh. Wyvern is what it is. Yeah, these are not wyverns. A wyvern, I believe has no arms or its arms are its wings. I think that's the difference. Yes, four limbs for six because a dragon's tech, a dragon technically has six limbs because it includes its arms at, or its wings as limbs. I don't know. Sindaria. Sindaria. Uh, can I make one for left-handed crocheters? You know what? I need to start doing that. Um, yes, I, I think that is a great idea. I need to start flipping my videos so that left-handed crocheters have a little bit easier time with the video tutorials. Um, the, the truthful answer is yes, I do need to do that. Uh, and I'll, I'll start to put a little bit more effort into that. I'm actually working currently on redesigning um, the way patterns are on the website uh, in a good way. It, it's mostly the back end that's being redesigned. So I'm redesigning it so that it's easier for me to put patterns onto the website and for other people to put patterns onto the website so that in the future we could have more people submitting patterns for the site. And in that, I think it would be really cool to do a left-handed video version. So I, I can do that. I know how to do it. It's just, you know, more effort. So I, I just gotta put in a little bit, put in a little bit more effort. Um, I think it's only one single crochet there. <laughs> Cold blooded adventure says another fact is that is this one isn't a dragon fact it's a slug fact <laughs> so here's a slug fact for you slugs are overweight and can't lift up their body weight which he learned from alexa <laughs> or they learned from alexa i should be dude do it rebecca do it i dare you rebecca says that she's tempted to make this dragon using a 0.4 hook, which is like, you're ta we're talking like, like, honestly, you wouldn't even be able to tell that it's a hook unless you look at it really, really closely. It looked just like a needle. That's, you're crazy. But I, I would love to see that. That's gonna, it would take a while though. Um, what? Cat? Cat says that turtles breathe through their butts, and I'm gonna need you to source, to, to I'm gonna need a source for that information, because that sounds crazy. Turtles do? Or tor tortoises do? Because it makes, I guess it makes more sense for a turtle to, but like, both of those don't really make any sense to me. 
How would they breathe through their butt? I don't know how that's gonna work. Sorry, I'm reading I'm reading Cinderia's comment about the legs. How she crocheting her stitches from the inside. I need to um hmm. Okay. So yeah, I just need to make left-handed videos to help out. I think that's the truth of the matter. Yeah, I don't even have Mind Power Slayer says that the smallest hook that they have is 0.6 millimeters. I don't even think I have 0.6 millimeters. I think I have one millimeter as the smallest crochet hook. Because anything smaller than that, I just get frustrated. And need like a microscope to crochet it. I think we're gonna try to end a little bit earlier than four, by the way. I think I'm gonna try to go for like 3.30ish because you know how I am with saying goodbye. I have a difficult time. And I know that Jules's event starts. Oh, dang, Luz, thank you. Um, Her event starts at four, so I feel like I should be out of here prior to four. So I'm gonna try for 3.30 and we'll see how that goes. Luz. Thank you so much for your support. Let me put out a dude for you. Let's go with the, let's go with the, let's see. Oh, here we go. Let's go with this dude. This is, um, oh, what is his name? Oh, it starts with an O. Oh, I can't remember. Can't remember, but he has got a name. It starts with an O, I think it's like, old or something like that and uh he's wearing a helmet right now we can take his helmet off you can actually also take his jacket off if i wanted to we'll put him right here for you if you can think of a good name with that starts with O, oh, i think this might be the chance to rename him but he did have a good name boon maybe i think it had an umlaut on the o you know an umlaut like the two dots i think that's an umlaut Or b bolt, Bowden, Boodle. He had a weird name. I remember that. It's three thirty-eight there. Oh, so <laughs> I meant yeah, I meant Pacific Standard Time. Three thirty-eight. You must be in on the East Coast, maybe, or the mid. I like that name, Blueberry. Ornamid. Hello, my name is Ornamid. Dude, Blue Dragon, thank you so much. Blue Dragon, check it out. I got a Blue Dragon right here. Right here. Look, it's you. It's you. You're right there. Look at how cool you look. Speaking, oh, actually, let me show you something that we're going to do to this pattern. Is uh, I have different ways that you can make the the eye here see how this one is like a little bit over we're gonna try to do that for this one to make our golden dragon look a little bit more grumpy that is that is the chance that's, that's what we're gonna try we'll see how it goes we should be able to get the head made in this video Tina asks am I left or right-handed Tina says that you're you're left-handed and you crochet the same way as me huh I am right-handed uh, but yeah, I do do most of my crochet, I guess. Like I always say that if I were to lose my, had to lose one of my arms, one of my hands, I would rather lose my right hand than my left hand, even though I am right handed because I don't think I could crochet without my left hand. I'm pretty sure that would be really, really, really tough. And that's because like 
I really do most of like the dexterity grabbing stuff with my left hand, whereas my right hand basically just holds a crochet hook and like makes it like point pokes it in the right ways. Whereas the left hand is like kind of putting the yarn over and whatever. I think that um, you know if I lost my right hand, then I could just get it replaced with an actual crochet hook and be have a hook for a hand, <laughs> and then I could I could still crochet. But I don't think I could crochet if I got my left hand removed. I do think this is, uh, I, I think it's probably a lot easier to crochet the way that, um, like, in this way where your right hand is holding the crochet hook and your left hand is holding the yarn, regardless if you're left or right handed, just because I know that, like, I don't know if it necessarily matters which hand you're dominant in for crocheting because once you learn how to do it, which whatever hand you learned how to do it with, you could pro I could probably learn it the other way around if that's how I first did it, and that would be fine because I'd have to use a lot more dexterity with my right hand, which I'm already used to using dexterity with my right hand, you know? So I think, um, I think that if you're a beginner and you're like learning how to crochet, I would try to learn it like quote unquote right handed because all the patterns are going to be written for that way. Um, it's it's very rare to find a left handed accessible crochet pattern. Uh, but I don't know. Hey, you lefties out there that are crocheting, um, what's your opinion on the matter? Because uh, I I can only give so much advice because I don't know. Um, okay, I think I'm on the end, the last few stitches here. One, two, okay. Um, Desiree, any advice for Ichan? Tension, leverage with the yarn, hook work. He's having some difficulty using, getting used to the feel of it. Oh, let me see. I think I missed that comment. Yeah, I must have missed that comment. Okay, well, um, any advice for tension? Yes, I do have advice for tension. Um, so the first advice I have is that you can control the tension with your left hand a lot easier if you like do that. If you if you really like t kind of tangle the yarn up in your hand, and you have you'll have a lot more um, ability to control your tension a little bit easier. The most important part is having your index finger free and able to like do that, you know, go over the yarn or under the yarn because you're going to need to use this finger and this finger the most. Um, the rest of these three fingers can be used for tension. So see how I've like wrapped around these fingers all weird? It's because now I can like control the tension really easy. Like, look, I'm not letting it through and then I just loosen up and it lets it through. So that's my advice for tension is like, um, Control it. Learn to control it by weaving it in and out of your uh, your non-dominant hand or whatever you're using to hold the yarn first. And then once you get comfortable with how the yarn is held uh, in general, like once you're comfortable with using yarn, you will learn that you don't really need to have it wrapped around there because you can use these two fingers to control tension. Also, it's just this takes practice, like being able to control that it takes a little bit more practice just because I'm used to holding yarn I'm holding yarn you know every day for hours on end so after a while you just get used to how yarn feels um, but in the beginning that's that's a tough thing to ask uh, I do find that knitters have a really easy time with the holding yarn part for learning to crochet uh, and that's because they hold yarn all the time still when they're knitting and even though it's different than crocheting, it's a lot easier because you know how to use the tool. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, you know how to use the medium. The tool would be the crochet hook, I guess. Hope that answers any questions. Let me know if you have any other questions about that. Do I have any way to make the whole 
between your dragon's fingers smaller the hole in the magic loop yes okay so that hole can be very tricky um because you have so many stitches around uh the magic loop it can be very tricky to make sure that you're using um like you can tighten the the loop up as much as possible my advice is twofold first off the advice that probably should work better than the second advice is that um try to tighten the hole a little like a pretty decent amount before you even start the stitches on it that should help you out because then you won't have to tighten it as much when it comes to actually tighten it tight um actually i got three three points of advice second advice is um you can try using the second magic loop method uh i have two different ways that i like to make magic loops if you'd like to learn about the second magic loop method i have a video tutorial at clubcrochet.com slash magic loop that should help out and then the third advice is um is to crochet around the tail end for a few stitches after you've tightened the hole well because it can become untightened if you don't crochet around it and i'll show you what that means in just a second because i'm going to be making the back legs now because i have our front legs Stephanie, we well little little legs now he goes he goes yes excellent excellent here wait i have these prepped for when i finish the whole dragon i've got a bunch of these um on the side but we can start with just one right now We'll try to pick up one golden button. Yes, no, please. I want to pick up the golden button. There we go. Yes, yes, excellent. The golden button for you. <laughs> what a weirdo I am. All right. Live Life asks, do you have to buy this pattern? Uh, you've got two options. One, you can buy it. Uh, it is available for sale right here, clubcrochet.com slash dragon. The other way is to uh, become a Club Crochet member, which you can get a free trial for. Uh, Club Crochet memberships are $5 a month, but you get a free, I think, week-long trial or something. So you can get that to get the pattern as well. Um, so technically, you don't have to buy the pattern because you can sign up for a membership and then you can cancel the membership if you want. But I wouldn't do that because... It helps support this channel and you get access to a bunch of patterns and I come out with new ones every single month. So that's your options there. Uh, this pattern took a very, very, very long time for me to uh, make. So I can't, I can't give it up for free, honestly. It's just too, it was too difficult of a pattern for me to make. All right, so I'm gonna tighten this a little bit tighter now so you can see what I mean. So see how I'm like making it a little bit smaller of a hole as I work my first stitches in there? That'll save me some tightening a little bit later. Ooh, it's raining. I kind of wish it was raining here, but it is not. It's not hot either. It's just kind of like... It's just overcast outside. But that's San Francisco in the summer. September, like mid to late September, all the way to November in San Francisco, it gets really hot. Not like really hot, it's just like that's our summer. It starts then. So summer is on its way. That's who I want for the last. There's only one more character that's going to be added to Smash Brother, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, the game that I'm obsessed with. And I really hope it's Waluigi. I want it to be Waluigi really bad. Because everybody wants Waluigi to be a character, and he's like the only Mario-ish character that's not included. And it would just be really funny. I really hope it's Mario. Sure, it's the golden dragon that you're talking about. No, this is going to be a different golden dragon. I don't know what kind of golden dragon it's going to be. By the way, Cat, 
nice new profile picture. You can hear an owl at outside. Do owls come out in the day very often? I don't know if I've... I think I have seen a day owl, but not like... Hmm. One time when I was in uh, uh, Red Rock Canyon, which is a place in Southern California, uh, me and my dad saw a giant barn owl. Maybe not barn owl. I don't know. Horned owl? It was cool. It flew like right over our heads trying to scare us. And we were like, what? That was awesome. Okay, so I finished my first round of the feet. Because um, now I finished our, leg, or our arms. So now I'm working on the legs. And now is uh, where I can show you how uh, to help with the hole on the center there. So I've tightened the hole up pretty tightly. But now I want to like make sure it stays tight because it can become loose. So what I'm going to do is crochet around this tail end for a few stitches. And that way it'll help keep it locked into its like tightness just a few just like one I usually do like three so that it's right in the front of the foot so when I sew it all together it it helps me sew the arm together too one two and three and then that way I'll keep this tail end long but now it'll be locked in a little bit better I know. I wish they didn't make Waluigi a trophy, but they did. <laughs> Rebecca's got bats outside. That's crazy. Cold Blooded Adventures. I'll have to check it out. Is it this is it this YouTube channel? I can't check it out during the stream. But I can check it out later. So what are you guys making? Anybody else making a dragon? Anybody making something else? What, what, what do we got? What are you guys making today? Anybody making a castle for the Club Crochet Challenge? There's only... Uh, the Club Crochet Challenge, by the way, goes from... Uh, until the 27th. So you have... Um, what? 15 days? Yeah. Yeah. 15 days to enter the challenge. There's only been like two people that have entered it so far. So the chances are pretty high that you win the Club Crochet Challenge. Lisa! Um, what am I making right now? All right now I am making the legs and I actually just realized that I wasn't paying attention. And... Uh, I was supposed to do a half double crochet here. <clears throat> right now I'm making a dragon. I'm actually making a golden dragon as per your requests. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you um, sign up for a membership today, uh, during the live stream, I will also give put out something for you if you uh, would like to, like as a donation, if you sign up for a club crochet membership. Half double crochet one, single crochet two, and then do slip stitches. Whoa, Dino Cats has been obsessed with crocheting bumblebees. Jane's making a sea turtle. Hi, Jane. By the way, welcome to the welcome to the chat. I don't think I see, saw you earlier. Coffee Crochet made some hibiscus flowers. She's been making a bunch of flowers. They are really cool. I love the little itty bitty miniature flowers that you've been making. Yeah, the, the dragon's legs, I have to say, are uh, a little tough. Yeah, the whole first part of this dragon, making the legs and the arms, uh, is the most difficult part of the patterns but once you're done with those it gets a lot easier um the wings are the coolest part for sure they're my favorite part of the whole pattern and again i am going to have these as crochet kits hopefully later today if i can get the motivation to take all the pictures that i need for it 
I haven't I haven't yet, but I probably will later today. I used to practice this all the time in high school. Oh, and now it took me forever to learn how to do it with the crochet hook. See, I still can't do it all the way. Sometimes I can get like a double one though. Ready? Oh. Anyhow. Anyhow. Well, tons of pumpkins. If you made a little dragon, do you think I should make one to match the pumpkins? Yes. Oh man, I should do a black dragon for Halloween. That would be so cool. Or like a red and black dragon. That'd be cool. That'd be way cool. Oh yeah, purple with purple and green wings. That would be so cool. There's so many, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna have so many freaking dragons. I already have six, I think, six or seven dragons done. I don't even know what I'm doing with them. I just really like making them. They just sit around and pour it over all of my yarn. They protect my yarn. I should put them in my yarn hordes. That'd be funny. Little dragons. <laughs> Lisa, am I also a drummer? I always wanted to be a drummer, but I am not a drummer. But that has been a dream of mine. I think uh, maybe when I'm retired, I'll take up drumming. <laughs> Although I'll probably realistically take up like woodworking or car building like my dad. Yeah, red and black dragon would be sick. Okay, we're almost done with the last claw here, which is great because I am tired of making this these claws. They are so, uh, <laughs> they're difficult. They're just difficult. Making the face is also gonna be a little tricky, but we'll get to it. Hold there. I'm also trying to come up with a way to add these to stitched. Um, I've come up with some like rough ideas for the their like stats for the game, but I still need to think of it a little bit more. By the way, if you don't know what Stitched is, it's my tabletop game where you make all your pieces from homemade materials, usually crocheted for my case. Um, I'm working on a Kickstarter for that. It was supposed to be out this before the end of the year, but we're actually going to push it back a little bit. Um, I'm very, very excited for it, though. Uh, I even have... Look at me. I'm spilling all the tea right now. Um, I have been working on pop-out versions of the pieces so that people that aren't crocheters can play the game also. And I actually have them... Uh, here, I'll... I can show you an example. I'll show you an example. So, just because I'm so excited. They just came this week, the prototypes. So these are not, these are not finished at all, but I'm going to show you something secretive. So these are the prototypes for the pop out pieces for stitched. Here, I just popped that one out. Here's the, here's a base for it. Um, it's not printed yet. The idea is going to be, it's going to have a printing and you can color it in so you can make your own piece for stitched. And this is for people that don't want to crochet. And then there's this little base piece that you can like put them on. I was supposed to take out the cardboard before I did this. There we go. So it just goes in the, in the cardboard. Now, again, these are just prototype ones. These are not the final ones, but you can see how they work. There's going to be like a little part there where you can draw, you can write down your character's name and stuff and you can color your character in. And then you'll have little pieces for stitch that are pop out. So this is for people that can't crochet it. And then I also have items 
like this made. So this is a little pickaxe. And again, nothing's printed yet, but they go on their arms and stuff. See? So you can be holding a pickaxe and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. I'm really, really excited about how these are going to turn out eventually. And the, the idea is going to be you can get a crochet kit version or you can get the pop-out version. I don't know. As you can see, I'm just really excited about it. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. The, I hope, I'm just really hoping that the Kickstarter goes well because um, I'm going to be like, I, I essentially am going to be investing like a decent amount of my own money to make this happen just because I really want it to happen. And hopefully I'll be able to sell them to, to board game stores or something. Or to you guys if you would like to purchase them. The Kickstarter is probably going to go live in January, but we'll see. We need, I basically, I need to like get it to a bunch of people to uh, review it and stuff like that. So that's why we kind of had to push it back. And I'm still working on the book. Okay, so now we're on to the second leg, the left leg. We're almost done here with one side of the arms, or one, ugh, the arms and legs. Two and single crochet two. And then half double crochet one. Got it. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, we're just it's just gonna have outlines for people to color in or paint It's gonna come with um, markers for you to color it in with too uh, But you can also use like colored pencils or painting or whatever you want with it I am so excited. I am really stoked. I mean Yeah, I just love stiff. I think it's a cool game All right, so we got our arms and we got our legs done now we need to add, uh, whoa, hoo, hoo, we can do the wings next. The wings are the coolest part, the coolest part of this pattern. I like them. Wow, dude, Cold Blood Adventures are already almost done with the flamingo kit. Did you make the burb or did you make uh, Florence the flamingo? A tom yum soup mushroom? What is it? Tom Yum. Let me look that up. I want to know what a Tom Yum is. Tom Yum. What does a Tom Yum mushroom look like? They're like... Oh, weird. Like the straw mushroom? Not enoki, right? Because I have an enoki one. I actually do have an enoki mushroom. I don't know where it is. But I got one somewhere. Oh, here. I have one like this. Is this what you're talking about? Because this is a fungaloid that's got that kind of uh, those little mushrooms that you'd find in, in like hot and sour soup. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, but yeah, I think it's pretty cute. And perhaps it is what you're talking about. Ooh, I'll have to come out with a pattern for that mushroom sooner or later. Okay, so now we're working on the wings. Now the wings are crazy. Crazy, cool, crazy, awesome even. See where we're at here. Whoa, it already has 120 likes. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna make you guys a deal. Um, and you guys have to keep this up because it's gonna take everybody here. But if this video gets to, if this video gets to, let's go with like 250 likes. 
Is that too much? No, I think we can do 250 likes. If you can get to 250 likes in this video before Wednesday, I will do a giveaway on Wednesday for a dragon crochet kit. That sounds like a pretty solid deal. So if this video gets to 250 likes before Wednesday, I'll do a giveaway on Wednesday for a dragon crochet kit. One, two, three, Seven, nine, Yes, international people are included for that giveaway. Yes, share the video with everyone you know. Ask them to like it. Because if we get to 250 likes, wow, dude, me just saying that upped it 20 likes already. That was within like two seconds. You guys are crazy. Yeah, I'll be super. If, hey, I'll tell you what. If you can get to 250 likes by the end of this video, by the end of our live stream, which is only in two, like less than two hours. Uh, uh, I'll up it to two kits, two give two kit giveaway. If you can get it done by the end of this video, if you can get 250 likes by the end of this video, and one if you can get it by Wednesday. That seems like a pretty good deal. Good luck. All right, so now I am on to the wing. Well, yeah, that's right. I remember how to do the wings. I love these wings. These are, I think this is my favorite, um, like piece of a pattern that I've made in like a long time is how to make dragon wings. They are so cool. I really want to try making bird wings this way by making them like with loop stitches so that they're a little bit fluffier and, and stuff. I'm going to give it a shot, uh, pretty soon. Probably I'll probably just put on a movie and experiment for a while until I get it. I said 250 coffee and crochet, not 150. <laughs> I think you can do it though. I'm like pretty confident that'll happen. I hope, I really hope so. Wow, we have 80 people watching this video right now. Thank you so much, everybody who's watching it. Dude, seriously, thanks for joining me on a Sunday and crocheting with me. This is really cool. These may, I seriously, like, I, I am so addicted to live stream crochet alongs with you guys because all week I was like, I get to do a live stream on Sunday. <laughs> I haven't been able to do a live stream in like two weeks. I'm having an itch. I'm having, I'm having withdrawals. <laughs> <laughs> go for it, Kanova. Yeah. Have whoever, like, yeah, go for it. I'll go ahead and like it on my other accounts, too, just to help out, also. Katiani says, any passing tips for someone who decided to start crocheting today, but just randomly bought some yarn? Okay, first off, Katiani, you got this, dude. You totally got this. You can learn to crochet. I'm sure of it. My tip is, um, first off, it's going to take a sec. Be patient. It's going to take you a second to get good at it. Don't get frustrated. You're going to make a knotted mess for like the first five projects. And that's like, that's totally okay. That's totally 100% normal. And don't be dissuaded about that at all. Second, try some easy crochet patterns to begin with. Um, I always suggest crocheting amigurumi to start with. I would try my octopus pattern. You can find it at clubcrochet.com slash octopus. There's a video tutorial for it. It's totally free and it's great for complete beginners. Um, and the reason I suggest that pattern is because there's no sewing necessary for that pattern. So you don't have to sew any pieces on, which I think is like the most annoying part of crocheting. And uh, 
uh, and you can make them really quick. So you can try to make it, try to make an entire octopus going straight from the beginning to the end. No matter how many mistakes you make, just like power through it and try to finish it up and then do it again and again. Try three times because it only takes about like maybe an hour for you to get the first one. And then that's like not that long to be sitting there trying a new, a new like technique, you know? So try that and then you can keep doing it again. And every time you make it, it's going to get easier and look better and better. Uh, and also, <laughs> how exciting, dude, congratulations. Crocheting is the best, best, best uh, hobby and art form ever, in my opinion. It is the coolest thing ever, and I'm super duper excited for you. So congratulations, and, and feel free to ask for any help that you may want. Um, we have a Discord channel. You can find it at clubcrochet.com slash Discord. There's a Facebook group, um, and obviously everybody here in the chat is super friendly and totally, I'm sure, willing to give any advice as well as me. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be back Wednesday, too. If you want to try today and then come back Wednesday, ask any questions you might have. I'll be here. <laughs> okay. More like two hours for the first octopus. But it gets easier and easier, I promise. Okay. Now we get to make the one part of the wing. I'm just going to do three and then I'm going to add the pipe cleaner. Dude, I'm, I'm so excited for you. I, the, when I first learned to crochet, I mean the energy, like the, the enthusiasm that I had for this new art was like, just so exciting. I, I love that feeling of that of the first time you start up a new hobby. It's very cool. Uh oh, Rebecca said she can't get to the Club Crochet website. Can someone else check that? Maybe it's down for some reason. I really, really hope not. I'll check it out real, real quick too. No, looks like it's working for me. Yeah, it's working for me. Good luck. I hope that hope it works out for you. Oh yeah, that's a great beginning pattern too. Uh, Cold Blooded Adventures and Johnny say that the uh, Triceratops was a first pattern also, and that's that's a very good first pattern also. Takoyaki, any advice on teaching crochet? Um, hmm. Any advice on teaching crochet? Uh, okay. Here's my advice on teaching crochet. First thing is patience is definitely key, especially if you're doing it in person. Um, you're going to be frustrated as, as someone that knows how to crochet and watching other people trying to learn to crochet. It's a little frustrating to see people like not getting it. Um, just be patient. Remember that everybody learns differently. And so you got to just be patient with people. Uh, they're learning something completely different and their minds are wired completely differently than yours. Um, that's something that I, I try to think about a lot is that like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go into a whole thing now. There is this, um, scientist, his name is Richard Feynman. Uh, and he was doing this one experiment on, uh, thought. On, on time, on how people perceive time. And he realized that when he is reading a book, um, he was not able to count. He couldn't count to like, like it took him, it, it was very difficult for him to, to count like one, two, three, four, five while he was reading. And then he realized that uh, he had a friend and he told him this, like, I can't count while I read it. I don't know why, but that's just something I noticed. And the guy goes, you can't count what you read. That's easy. And so he did it. And he was like, he read this entire book. And then he realized that, uh, and then he could count the whole time. And so Richard was like, okay, wait, what? How is it that you can do this, but I can't? And then he thought, okay, well, it turns out that when he counts, he verbally counted 
in his brain. So his brain was counting out loud to himself, one, two, three, four, five. His friend, however, counted visually. When he counted, he saw the numbers. He saw a little flip book going one, two, three, like with the number visually. So because of that, he was, uh, his friend was able to uh, think, uh, like the, the, his brain was being used for do, in two different spots so that counting wasn't taking up the brain space for reading. Um, which is super interesting. And the main reason I tell you this is because it goes to show that everyone thinks completely differently than each other. And we're all trying to communicate the same thing, but we're thinking completely different than each other based on environmentally or based on our biology. We're all thinking differently, but we're all trying to communicate the same thing to each other. So you just need to really be aware of that. and allow as many options as possible for people to learn and be really patient with people will while they're learning because they're they are trying it's just they don't think the same way as you and you have to realize that so that you can try to work on how to communicate with them a little bit better that's some advice that i i got a lot a while ago and uh it it really has helped me um with my patience in just in general of like communication Hope that helps. Hello, Gaia Theory. Gaia Theory. Hello. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the live stream. Oh, okay. Melbell's got some great advice there. She says, if you're teaching a young kid or someone with less, less dexterity, meaning that they're having like a difficult time holding things, then it uh, is very helpful if you sit next to them and hold the yarn for them. Um, uh, hold the yarn for them like you would hold it in your left hand and they do the hook side. And it helps them get the feeling of the motions that they need to do with the hook and focus on learning just that part first. That is some great advice. I love it. I love it. Love it. I'm going to totally use that advice. Yes. Chirp a little says, take it, take it from her. A teacher teaching anything means being able to repeat it over and over without judgment. And I think that is probably the most important part for teaching is you need patience. Patience, I think is probably the key. Um, now, I've only been teaching crochet and mostly only online. So I don't have as much experience as people that have been teaching in person as often as other people have. Um, the All the tips that I get about teaching in person come from my mother, who's a teacher for 40 years. So that's where I get my advice. Um, but I don't have a lot of firsthand knowledge on teaching in person. So definitely take advice from these people that know how to teach. They know, they know more than we do. <laughs> Johnny got four people to like. That's awesome. Hey, good luck. Get more people to like the video. Go for it. We got, um, we got, it looks like 165. So you're about less than a hundred likes away. That's not that many, honestly. Um, by the way, if you are just tuning in, we got a, I got a deal going on right now where if we get this video to 250 likes, we I will uh, do a giveaway on Wednesday during the uh, continuation of this live stream crochet along. Okay, so we got our beginning of our wing done. Now we want to add this gold, this gold gold. I mean, I guess they're both gold, but. Um, uh, uh. Ooh, you hear that? That was good. Wouldn't be a wouldn't be a Louis live stream if I didn't crack my bones once. Okay, I'm gonna change to our new color of yarn. Make sure I got a little extra there. And let me just chain one. All 
at it. I think it starts with a single crochet. I need to look at the pattern for this part. Okay. The song is very, like, eerie. It's pretty, though. It's just eerie. I have been learning um, a lot of... Oh, Johnny, you changed your... Oh, that's probably your second YouTube account. I get it. I get it. Um, I've been learning Japanese on Duolingo over the past week. I've been relearning it. I took it for four years in high school. So I remember a okay amount of it, but I really wanted to just relearn it. I just like to... I like to try to relearn languages every now and then, just so I am prepped for whenever I go to visit that place. Uh, and I've been having a lot of fun with relearning Japanese. Also, the the app Duolingo is like so good. I've been telling everybody like that is like the best app I've ever seen. It is extremely well made. If you're learning to learn a different language, I am not sponsored at all to tell you this, but Duolingo is a good app. Now I'm going to try this thing for these wings that I talk about in the pattern, but I don't actually, I haven't actually done it on the other dragon wings. So I'm going to give another a shot at it in this video. It's a way to make the stitches a little bit tighter than they were, than they, than they could be. But we're going to give it a shot here. Just a second. Two. What do you call it when a leg tells a joke? Hmm. I don't know. Dumbbell Studio. Oh gosh, that's what it is. Melbell got it. I'm sure she got it. That's got to be it. Is it it? Uh, how did I get into crocheting? I got into crocheting uh, in high school. I got really crafty just in general in high school. And uh, started crocheting. Really, I started crocheting because I had a... I, I like to give gifts to people, and I had a crush on this girl, and I wanted to crochet her something. Um, I mean, that wasn't, like, really the main reason I got crocheting, but it was one of the reasons why I kept crocheting so often. Um... And yeah, I just, I lived right next to a, uh, a Joanne fabric. So I would just go over there a bunch and buy more and more things to crochet with. I broke like, I think I broke like six crochet hooks because I just kept buying plastic ones, which is foolish. Oh my gosh. Wow, Dumb Dog Studios, you came up with that joke? That's a great joke to come up with. Good job. Stand up comedy. It's a very dad joke. I like it. I'm not a dad yet, but one day I will be, and I'll be prepared to tell a stand up joke. One, two, three, four, five. This golden yarn is very, um, is a lot thinner than the, well, it's not like a lot thinner, but it's just a different kind of yarn than the other one, which I kind of like. It gives it like a much, it's so shiny. I only have so much of this gold yarn, so I use it sparingly, but I think this is a perfect opportunity for it, so it works. Double crochet one. Actually, let me count. Yeah, we're good. And then, oh, okay. Oh, okay, past Lou. I see where you're going here. Um, I love looking at my past patterns and going, that's what I did. I mean, this pattern is not even that old though. And 
then I skip the slip and I start right here. Yes, yes, of course, of course. There we go. There we go. We're cruising now. Dude, Nika Nova, thank you so much for joining. Oh, I see you just subscribed too. Thank you for subscribing. And everybody, again, uh, try to like this video. We need, if we can get to 250 likes before the end of the video, I'm going to do two giveaways on Wednesday's live stream continuation of this live stream. If you can get to 250 by then, we'll do one giveaway. So regardless, it's a pretty, it's a, we'll try to get to 250 likes. We're going to be giving away a couple of, uh, 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 la, 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 dragon crochet kits. What, uh, Dumb Dog Studios asks, what's my favorite side hobby? Um, I would say either, ooh, I got, I got a, too many side hobbies. So I like, I really like to draw. Um, I really like to play video games, like a lot, actually. Probably playing video games is my favorite thing to do as a hobby. I don't know if that's really a hobby, but. I think it is. So I play a lot of video games. Um, recently, I've really liked learning other languages. That's that's really fun for me. Uh, keeps my my brain moving. Um, uh, coding is pretty fun. I can only do so much coding uh, because I don't really usually have that much time. But I do uh, try to do a little bit of coding on my website, and that's pretty fun to do. Again, I'm not very good at it. I have someone that helps, but. It's still nice. Jane, thank you so much. Jane says, glad you're back to streaming. It's been a while. Thank you, Jane. A donate's 10 bucks. All right. So we got, let's see. We got an ogre, a, an orc, a goblin, and a hobgoblin. I think we either need a troll for her. Yeah, let's do a troll. I think I might have some fun trolls in here. Oh, this one's fun. You know what? This one's fun, but he needs a hat. He's like such a chubby troll. Chubby troll. Chubby troll could be like a band name. This is your troll. I don't think you've ever seen this because I don't know if I've ever shown this troll before on a live stream. But here he is. He's got a thick neck. He's a thick necked troll. He's also got a scar and a wart there and his eyes like He's just got some stuff going on. I think I need to add a hat to him though. He needs something on his on his noggin. Let's see what we got. I could do some glasses. I could have sworn I saw a hat here. Here's a hat. Is this a good? Oh, I don't know if he'll be able to wear this hat, but we can give it a shot. Can you wear this one? Let's try it. Jane, let me know if you have any ideas for names for this guy. I do not have a name for him. I don't think I've ever shown him on a live stream either. But there you go. He got a he's got a hat now too. A skull hat, which is pretty dope. Let me know if you can think of a name for this dude. I'm gonna put him right here for you, Jane. And thank you so much again for your donation. I I T shape you. <laughs> he is kinda like the thick thick necked meme guy. Like, a, um, what is that? Big Chungus or something like that? Oh, yeah, the abs. I did make one with abs. He's somewhere in there. I know what you're talking about, though. I do remember making an ab one. Okay, so we got Challenger Riveter. Where are we at here? And then double. So we're almost done with one of these wings. OK. 
Okay. Let's hide this end in and wiggle this wing out a little bit. I'm going to try going from the front. I usually go from the back for this, but... Pretty good, even. There we go. Wait, there we go. Okay. I just need to stretch this wing out, give it a curve to it. Cut the end here. This is what's really nice about having all these, having a pipe cleaner in there, is we can bend and skew the wing however we want it to be so we can have them sleeping or not so sleeping the bummer is this yarn is like so much thinner or smaller that like it it's it's like he's got like a <laughs> it's not very thick wing kind of a bummer but that's okay we'll make it work we'll make it work it's gonna be like that okay so now it's got a curve to it i would like to put point these ends out a little bit more this yarn kind of it is pretty but maybe I should have doubled the yarn up oh well too little too late all right so we got some gold wings on we got our arms we got our legs we need one more wing just like the one wing go We'll put one wing over here. Perfect, even. Squinty the thick, I love it. And the hat isn't helping. Yeah, Squinty the thick, I like it. Hello, Squinty. Squinty is a very uh, troll-like name. Squinty. How about we change? How about we like change the the spelling so it's like S. S K W I N T Y. Squinty. Squinty. You know? Because then it's more trolly. I don't think they know how to use cues. <laughs> I like that idea. Ooh, Belvark is also a good name, though. Um, so, Sy uh, Sindira says, uh, what about a thin layer of stuffing so that the, so that pipe cleaner doesn't show? Honestly, if you do a thin layer of stuffing, the stuffing's just going to show through. Um, you don't really have that option, really, um, because then the stuffing will just show through it instead of the pipe cleaner. So, you just don't really have that too much of an option there. You can try crocheting around an extra thread of gold to, or like whatever the main color is to kind of thicken up the crochet stitch. But regardless, uh, there's only so much you can do. You can also try wire instead of a pipe cleaner. Um, that might help. Or using a pipe cleaner that's the same color of the yarn that you're using. I just don't really have any yellow pipe cleaner at hand. Whoa, really? We're almost at 200 likes already? Wow, wow, wow. Okay, well, you have, you still got, an, like, an hour and 15 minutes to get to 250. I'll be pretty impressed. Two, three, five, six, oh, seven, Um, Emerald Turtle, Emerald, Emerald, Emerald Turtle, got it. Emerald Turtle, that's a great idea. A vulture or a crocheted, or a, a crow burb for Halloween. I, I really want to do a crow, so I think a crow would be a lot of fun. Um, I can't believe I haven't done it yet. Uh, yeah, honestly, I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great idea and easy to do. 
Um, I will, I'll try to work on that. Um, I do have like a lot going on for October for Halloween stuff, but uh, I do think that's a really cool idea. So I think it'd be worth it to make it happen. A vulture would be cool, but I've just been wanting to do a crow or a raven for so long that I just think that's such a good idea. Yeah, you could add a layer. That's true. You could add a layer of fabric around the pipe cleaner or wrap the pipe cleaner in um, the same yarn that you're crocheting with. That would also work. <laughs> Katiana, go to bed. You got school tomorrow, dude. I mean, I appreciate you joining and watching, but you can rewatch this later if you'd like. You're going to be so tired for school tomorrow. It's Monday. Good night, Chirp a little. Got a really long weekend. It's midnight here. Also about to keel over. <laughs> Good night, Chirp a little. Thanks for joining. And, and noted, a lot of people want a crow. I will be back Wednesday, by the way. Uh, a little bit later. I think we're going to do 4 p.m. on when, next Wednesday. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Nope. Can't do it again. Oh, never mind. I got it there. Wow. Wow. So I, I think we should have enough time to get, uh, hopefully, the head made by the end of this live stream. I'm pretty sure we will. We've only got like a few, a little bit longer for these wings. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think I liked it on my other channel too, on my, on my Louis Loops channel. I think I did. Let me see. Yes, I've already liked it. I know, right, Johnny? It's already freaking Sunday. Ugh. I don't want to work tomorrow. That's why I need donations. <laughs> so I can quit my job and just crochet all day, all night. A snake pie punchline I don't get what that means Tyfe but I hope you get it Wow 50 more or a little bit less or a little bit more 53 more likes to get to the 250 needed Fingies quast that look at I've got all my fingers can I cross them all? No. Ow. <laughs> Hurt. Warrior Cactus. Yeah, okay. I mean, maybe I can try streaming a little bit earlier on Wednesday. The problem is I do have to work on Wednesday also. But maybe I could do it instead of, like, lunch. I will try to go earlier, but I, I have a feeling it's actually going to be later. So maybe I can get it in the morning for you, but we'll try. What do I call a... St oh, it's, it's silly. Two. Three. Tatiana, how do you make a pattern? Whew, what a question. Um, well, usually when I make a pattern, I draw something first. Uh, well, I guess it depends. Miss Dragon, I actually didn't draw first. Um, and then I crochet. I just like freestyle crochet. And then I write down what the freestyle crochet made. 
um, which takes a little bit of effort because you got to like look at your pattern and be like, okay, there's like five stitches there. And then like I did the six stitch there and then I did that and that. And then I write all that down. That takes like a little while to do, honestly. Um, and then the, and then you test out what you wrote down. It's like a whole process. I really should make a video where I'm like, this is how I make crochet patterns to help people out. Johnny, uh, crochet is the only happy time I have during the week. Sorry to, sorry, starting to hate my job, but wanted to open an Etsy store, but I'm worried that I, if I can sell stuff made from other people's patterns, if I give them credit. So here's the deal with that. That depends on the artist. Honestly, most artists are pretty cool with it. Some are not. Uh, I personally am totally cool with it. If you want to sell anything made with a crochet club crochet pattern, um, all you got to do is put in the description on Etsy pattern by club crochet or pattern by club crochet.com. But you can use any of the patterns. You can sell ogres, you can sell castles or um, dragons or dinosaurs, whatever you want. Uh, and a lot of people do. If you go on Etsy and you look up Triceratops, most of the things there are people that have used club crochet patterns for their Triceratops, which is really cool. Uh, I actually want to create something on my website so that I can like feature other people's things in the Etsy store that are made with club crochet patterns. Uh, but yes, basically, feel free to. Good luck. Um, and you, I think you got this. My biggest tip there is to get good pictures. Um, get some really good pictures of whatever you're making. Your phone's camera probably can handle good pictures. It's less about the camera now and more about the what you want to do with the backdrop or what you want, how you want to edit the picture to make the colors pop or whatever. Um, but good pictures are the probably most important thing. And don't sell yourself short. Do not sell them for more for less money than it costs for you to make them you know like you still want to be making at least a minimum wage so charge accordingly make you're worth it if you charge too little there's like this sweet spot there's somewhere in between charging too little and charging too much and you want to be right there right in the middle because if you charge too little people think that what you have is cheap and not worth it if you charge too much people are going to be like Pfft. You want $100 for this? What are you, crazy? Uh, which is totally reasonable on some things. But there is a sweet medium somewhere in between. It takes a little while for you to figure it out, but uh, it's worth it. Oh, slots. Yeah, sell slots. I don't think there's many crocheted slots on Etsy right now either. So that's, a, that's also a good move. I think maybe I think next year one of the things that I really want to focus on is like uh, help helping people make actual actually make crochet patterns like an amigurumi uh, design series more than an like how to crochet certain things but we'll see. Yeah, absolutely, Katiana, Katiani. You absolutely can. Uh, yeah, just make sure to give credit to whoever the pattern is from. Uh, so make sure to tag Club Crochet if it's one of my patterns, stuff like that. Uh, by the way, Club Crochet's on Instagram. It's just club, at club.crochet. Easy squeezy lemon peasy. Ooh, do I have any tips for crocheting faster? Um... My tip for crocheting faster, uh, first big tip for crocheting faster is pay attention to your stitches. Um, if you can learn how to look at your stitches and know where cert where the end of the row uh, or round is prior to, like if you can tell where the end of the round is by just looking at it, it'll help you crochet a lot faster because you won't have to worry about using a stitch marker. Um, Memorize patterns so that helps crochet pa uh, faster and then uh, What else 
Um, it depends on what you're making. If you're making amigurumi, I would stick to this to the grip that I currently have. But if you're making blankets, you can crochet really quick with the pencil grip, meaning you hold your crochet hook like a pencil like this. I am garbage at crocheting like this. I'm just not good at it because I haven't really practiced it. But uh, I have found that people that are really, really fast crocheters that like pride themselves on being super fast crocheters, they usually crochet using that technique because it's quicker. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily better, honestly, especially for amigurumi. I don't think it's better, but you know, teach their own. Okay, let's switch over to our gold, which is somewhere. There it is. Ezra, yes. Uh, so, well, these are the legs. So here's the arms, Ezra. Here is a leg. There's a right and a left leg. They're different. The arms are the same for each side, but this would be a, uh, this would be the left leg. You can see because it's kind of leaning a little bit to the left like that. And then the, what I'm currently making right now is the wings. So we're going to need two wings. Here's one of them. See, And then the other one we're currently working on. Yeah. And again, a uh, couple of couple of things that because we we have 83 people watching, which means we have some newbies coming in right now. And thanks for, so much for joining. Uh, we're doing a thing right now. If we can get to 250 likes by the end of this live stream, I'm going to do two giveaways on Wednesday. Uh, if we can get to just 100 or 250 by next Wednesday, which at our current rate, I think we are going to get to 250. Uh, by next live stream at the very least we're going to be doing one giveaway so on wednesday when i come back to finish this live stream up we will be doing uh, a giveaway for a dragon probably we already got 214 likes so we're only 36 likes away from the giveaway pretty pretty dang good if you ask me so good luck i've already liked on a bunch of my stuff too and Really, any any like that's the cheapest, easiest way to uh, support this channel. Also, so please like it down below. And if you didn't know, we're crocheting a dragon right now, and we're gonna be. Um, this is the new pattern for the website. And if you'd like to work on a castle, we're doing a club crochet challenge right now where if you design your own castle, um, you can either use the crochet pattern that is available at clubcrochet.com slash castle, or you can use whatever you want. And we're doing a giveaway for some moolah. Here, I'll put it on the corner, right uh, there, right like that. Oh, except for, why did that come up? I told that to not come up. Nope, not that one that wait that there we go so there join the club crochet challenge the crochet castle blah, blah, blah. so you just got to make a castle like this and you can design one yourself and we're going to vote on our favorite one and whoever wins gets some money honey come back when you got some money buddy anybody know what that's from if you can guess what that's from uh i will award you with a a miniature heart on in I'll put a mini heart for out for you first person to guess what that's from come back when you got some money buddy sorry I lost where I was in my pattern Nope, not Home Alone. It's uh, it's from a video game. There's your hint. Oh, only supposed to double crochet one. Ah. <laughs> Oh no, that sucks, Leaf Sauce. Well, I hope you got to return that gross rotten chicken. That's that's a bummer. That poor chicken gave its life for nothing. 
Oh, evil. Okay, you're close enough. It's it is good job. That was a good job. I think it is in Bioshock 2 also, but I was doing the one from the regular the first Bioshock. Uh it's the the vending machine. It goes like, "Welcome to the Circus of Values." And then if you don't have any money, it goes, "Come back when you got some money, buddy." Anyhow, this is I'm going to put this out for you, evil. This little miniature heart, it's going to be right here, right here, just for you. Good job. Good job. So we got seven, one, two... Oopsies, messed that one up. One, two, three, four. Wait, there we go. Oh, oh, I just realized I totally forgot to send out a email notification for this live stream. Whoopsies. My bad. I'll do it again on Wednesday. I'll send out an email notification. Uh, Evil, if you want to create your own pattern from scratch, you go for it, dude. If you can do that, I'm going to be super duper impressed. But go, like, absolutely, you can use your own pattern from scratch if you want to. You can use this pattern and alter it however you want. Whatever you want to do to crochet your castle, you go for it. Just make a castle of some kind. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got it. Ah. Oh. There we go. These wings can be tough, but man, do they look cool. Undeniably, they look a little bit cooler with uh, thicker yarn, but that's okay. This gold yarn is really cool, so I'm not... I am fine with it. sounds like a song from Zelda, but that's just a guess. Let's turn up the volume, actually, because I don't even think you can hear it. Can you? Oh, yeah, Johnny, uh, if you have a Club Crochet account, um, you should get emails from Club Crochet. It might be going to your spam box or something. That sucks. If it is going to your spam box, I'm sorry. That's a bummer. But yeah, I notify, I notify people about giveaways and about live streams and new patterns and stuff like that from email. Um, I don't usually email more than once a week. Uh, so I don't really like jam your email up. Uh, but yeah, that is... There are e email notifications available, as long as I don't forget about it like I did today. Whoopsies. I whoopsie that one. That's okay. We all make mistakes. Well, most of us do. Nice. 
Not Jimbo, though. He doesn't make any mistakes. Everything he does is on purpose. If you don't know who Jimbo is, that's my cat. And I'm, I'm joking because he makes a lot of mistakes. He falls sometimes. And it's very funny. Uh, <laughs> okay. Second dragon wing done. It looks so thin right now because of this. This yarn is so much thinner. But if we do this curve to it, it'll help out a lot. Then we just need to hide this end and cut these end, this end. Oh, only 20 more. Really? No way. No way, Jose. Wow, he's right. 20 more likes. If we can get to 20 more likes by the end of this live stream, I'm going to do two giveaways on uh, Wednesday's live stream crochet along. Where we finish this pattern up. Good luck. All right. I'm going to switch this song and just switch this uh, series of songs in just a second. They're too slow. I want exciting. Stretch these stitches out a little bit more. And bend our pattern up and out. Ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, we got our wings done. Let's do this curved in like that. We got our wings, we got our arms, we got our legs. Next up, we need the, let's see, what do we need next? Usually I use Lily Sugar and Cream Yarn for my crochet patterns, uh, Evil. Okay, so we're making the teeth now. Hey, Lorraine, thanks for joining. We've got about 45 minutes-ish for the rest of this live stream. So not too much longer. And then we're gonna pick it up again on Wednesday for the work in progress Wednesday live stream. I'm making some teeth now. And then we'll work on the lip and then we can make the face. I think we're gonna be able to get hopefully to the neck. That's what I'm aiming for. If I can finish up the neck in time, then we'll be in a good spot for Wednesday. I mean, that's exactly what it is, though, Crafty Chats. It's a dismembered body part with the bone sticking out because the pipe cleaners are bones. The bones. Okay. There we are. There we go. Yes, of course. We got our little teeth there. Put those to the side. Now we need a, I think we need a lip. Yes, lip. And then we need to do the spikes. Ah, oh, I forgot about the spikes. Hello, Reen Sky. Welcome to the chat. One, two, th three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, and 14. There's our lip. Make it a little longer. Okay. Got all the body parts. Uh, oh, we need the spikes. So we gotta use our fancy yarn for the spikes. Oh, you, char you started a simple bunny, but haven't finished it. Well, good luck on your simple bunny. If you need maybe an easier pattern, uh, check out the octopus pattern that came out a few weeks ago at clubcrochet.com slash octopus. I was just talking about it earlier. It's a very cool pattern. Um, I like it quite a lot. And it's really good for beginners. I think. I think so. IMO.
Oh, it's 1 a.m. where you're at, Yeen? Areen? Dang. You stay up late. Thanks for joining. One, two, three, four. Are you crocheting it? Crocheting this late at night? Or are you just watching while you're in bed? That's what I would be doing, probably. I try not to look at my phone too much in bed, though. Because if I do, it keeps me really... I'd stay up really late. Just looking at TikToks and stuff. Okay, we need to... I think I need to, like, loosen up these stitches in order to make these all fit. So I'm just going to... One, two... Three, four. I'll tighten that one, but then I'll loosen it up after that. We need I think we need just like ten spikes. One, two. Oh, I forgot to change the song. Hold on, I'll do that in a second too. There you go. Three spikes done. Tiny itty bitty spikes. Okay, next song. No, we listen to that one. You like my dance? I'll turn down the background a little bit because it's a little loud on this song. How many more likes do you need? Let's see. 10, only 10 more. We can probably get to that. Good luck, good luck. Oh, I like this. You're in Jordan, in the Middle East. Wow. You like crocheting there? I would be crocheting in the middle of the night. I used to do, like, when I first started crocheting, I would stay up literally all night long crocheting. And I would have, like, a beanie, by, a couple beanies by the end of the night. spikes we need here. One, two, three, four, five, six. More than halfway done. Four. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. I don't know if you can hear him, but Jimbo is meowing really loud outside. It's like, Wah! I want friends. He's just a complainer. I think Jules is in the shower or something. Not giving him attention. That's what you did. Luray did it right. He got it. It's just a little thumbs up thing. Oh, he's trying to get in now. I can hear him. Oh my gosh. I meant to tell you guys. This week right outside this window so right to my um left here this purple bit this is just a window shade there's a window right on the other side of this and i was working and a raccoon came up and uh like right up to the window and hung out for like ever check out these pictures okay i got some good pictures of it let's see check it out right this is all the way up all right, so check it out. There's the raccoon. He just came up right up to the window, right outside. And this is Jimbo looking at him. And then he fell asleep in the planter. Isn't that so cute? He just fell asleep right in the planter. He was so cute. I really wanted to feed him, but I didn't. But I wanted to. We named him Marco. It 
was so cute. Bobby, what's my uh, asks? What's my schedule for the live streams now? So we're doing um, to we're gonna do today Sundays. Um, usually on Sundays, I'm not gonna be doing next Sunday. Um, really, we're gonna be switching it off. So it's gonna it's supposed to be going Wednesday, Friday, Sunday each week a different one. This week's a little different. We're doing uh, today and then next Wednesday uh, for the for the finishing up this pattern but Wednesdays are gonna be work in progress Wednesdays why which is why this is gonna be such a perfect one for that so honestly it's kind of up in the air a little bit but really it's gonna be look for us on Wednesday Fridays and Sundays what? not every Wednesday Friday Sunday we're gonna switch off each week one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine ten I think it would help a lot if I had like a calendar or something available now I'm gonna make sure this is long enough because this is what we're doing. We're adding spikes to the back here, but like, oh yeah, that should work. He's just gonna have tiny spikes, but that's okay. I hear you, buddy. Jimbo's Jimbo's upset. All right, so we got our spikes. Now we finally get to start working on the face. How exciting. Oh, wow. I'm so excited. Hey, oh, only nine more likes, eight more likes, eight more likes. We get to, we're going to do a two, two, uh, dragon giveaways for the kits, two kit, dragon kit giveaways on Wednesday. And we can get eight more likes in like 30 more minutes. All right, let's hope we can get our face done in half an hour. I think we can do it. I think we can. I think I can. I think I can. One, two, three, four. I really like jazz. Except for, I really, I'm not really into like, you know, weird jazz. You know what I mean. Weird jazz. But I do like jazz in general. A project like this, um, a project like this, I would say takes, for me, it takes about three, maybe four hours to finish normally. Um, I'm pretty quick at crocheting though, so I would say this probably takes around like five hours in total, maybe six. Um, as far as crochet projects go, it's not that bad because most. Of it, but for my projects, that is a is a while because usually I take I make very small crochet projects. But I think you could do it. One, two. But feel free to ask for any help if you need any help. Three, increase two. Reen likes for what? We're gonna be doing, uh, if I can get to two, if we get this video to 250 likes by the end of the live stream, um, I'm gonna be doing two giveaways for dragon crochet kits on Wednesday when we finish up this dragon. Uh, we're gonna be doing it this Wednesday, so only in you know, that's gonna be what, the 15th, I think? Is that right? Yeah, the 15th. I think I'm gonna start at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and we'll do a giveaway for two dragons. And I have a plan on how to do that, a little bit of a plan. Sounds like we're gonna make it too. That's awesome. That's crazy. I really didn't expect us to make it, especially like, in this video so <laughs> you guys rock <laughs> all right so now i'm gonna do our nostrils for our little guy here hey oh apparently we made it cool very cool very very cool 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 i'll, I'll think about a, a nice way to do the giveaway but i got some ideas how exciting rosie the little budgie What's a budgie? Is 
Is a budgie that bird? It's a very cute bird. We made it! Let's put out something just to be like we made it. Hold on. Wait, one, two. No, I don't need to put it there. Keep crocheting around. Right? Yes, look at that. Look at them nostrils. Hey, Jess. Welcome to the live stream. Let's see. Let's see. Here, I know what we'll put out. Congratulations on 250, on making it 250 lights. We'll do a giveaway, a two giveaways on Sunday. Um, I think we'll do a giveaway for the live people that are watching and then another giveaway for people after the video, you know, so we can do both so that people don't feel bad that they missed the live stream. But we'll put this out just as a congratulations. He can uh, be protecting the, the castle. This is a little pug that I'm working on as a new pattern. Um, it's called, uh, this pug is named Bonesaw. Bonesaw's coming! Anybody know what that's from? Yeah, so we'll do, we'll do a live, we'll do the giveaway, like, we'll do one of the two giveaways live, and then the second giveaway we'll not do live, so that way, just in case people can't join the live stream, uh, you know, I feel bad that if they can't and we're doing two giveaways anyhow so it should be fine but guys thank you for making that happen you guys rock thank you so much no halftime show today just because i want to try to get as far as we can and i only have like half an hour more but i'll work on a halftime show maybe that's how we'll do the giveaway next week is we'll do a halftime show giveaway on Wednesday. I'll think it through a little bit more though. I like this, I like this jam. I should be counting my stitches, but I don't. You must do a handmade project in about three hours. Any recommendations? Check out clubcrochet.com slash quick. I think that's the URL. Um, here, I'll put it in the chat. Or I think that's the right one. Let me see. Is that right? Yes. There you go. I put it in the chat. That's all my patterns that are really quick to make. They take about an hour or less. Um, that That's a probably pretty good place to go for them. I'll give Jack Gurgle a big hug from you, Tina. Famous last words. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations to you as well, Lisa, because the giveaway is for you. <laughs> very cool, very cool. All right, so we're cruising. We're flying on this nose here, which is great. It's going to take a second for us to sew on the face. I find that's a pretty tough but really fun part of the pattern, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, cool, Sunshine. A play food set. Yeah, we got, let's see. We have like a pretty decent amount of food. We got turkey legs. There's a steak. There's the uh, pies. I guess an acorn, but I guess that's not really food. I should do like an apple and stuff too, though. Oh my gosh, your snake is too smart. You have a snake pet? The burb? Marine, you had a tough time with the burb? What, the yarn type matters? Yeah, I would say the yarn type matters. Uh, 
I mean, it doesn't like matter that much, but I do find that using cotton yarn uh, does help with like the clarity of your stitches a lot. That's what I've noticed, but let's see, where are we? Did three rounds. Okay, so we're on one. Got it. We're going to try those three. We're going to try spiked noses this time. Two, three. Four. Or not spiked noses. Spiked bobble eyebrows is what we're going to try to do. And we're going to try them to be a little bit more of an angry eyebrow. I don't think a golden dragon is going to be very, uh, I guess he might be nice, but he's not going to be very, like, uh, I don't know. He wants to have some RBF. If you don't know what that is, it's, it's an acronym. You can look it up. <laughs> to this oh that was one of my hobbies for a long time was swing dancing i haven't gone in a while but i used to really like to go swing dancing me and jules would swing dance a bunch but it's been a second we need to pick it back up i think Gonna be an interesting eyeball situation. If we can put one right there. Oh yeah, shakes! We have a shake too. I forgot about that. And I think it was single crochet one in between the yes, it was. Sorry, I'm not reading the chat as much right now. I'm trying to figure out this. Or I'm trying to do the spike ball part because it's going to be a little tricky. That's with this yarn. This yarn and this yarn specifically is a little tough because it's not like the normal yarn I use. It's very like it's much thinner and lighter than my ugh, cotton yarn. So I have to be more wary with it. Or gentle? I don't know what the word is. I don't know words. What are they? Oh wait, I'm gonna. I gotta skip this song because I also get. I'll get a check on my thing. There we go. Sorry about that. I had to switch that song because last time I played that one. Uh, we got like monetized or whatever. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Rebecca. You're watching this and you're thinking, oh, I don't know if I should make a mini a dragon. A mini dragon is, is that you're asking for quite a project. I mean, I think you could do it. I just don't think you're going to want to do it. <laughs> The yarn does not want to play ball, yeah. Hello, Imp Impish X. Welcome. Thanks for joining. There we go. Seven, and then I'm gonna do an extra single crochet after this round too, and then we're gonna add the face. I 
have had in the past some trouble with adding the face, but I think we're gonna be okay. I've, I've got I've got some plans for it. Seven. Okay, so now I'm gonna do an additional single crochet just to get it out of the way. And now we're gonna add our face with 20 minutes left, and then hopefully we can get a couple of um, a couple of rounds on the neck done before we have to finish the stream. Okay, so let's start with our eyes. song gives me a uh, motivation. Let's see, I, I like to look at my other dragon to see where I put the eyes. Let's see, because this one's such good face. Oh yeah, that's exactly where I put it. Perfect. And then this one will go like right here then. I like it. I like it. Good start. Rebecca, you're crazy, dude. I don't... I, <laughs> you're gonna go nuts trying to make a little miniature one though. Can you name the pug Milk Boy? This pug's name is Hacksaw because I have a friend that's got a pug that's name is Hacksaw. So I named it Hacksaw, but you can name it whatever you want it to be named. Okay. Now we're gonna sew on the mouth, which is, this is gonna be tough. So I am gonna have to like pay attention or try to figure this out as we're going. This part's just a little bit tricky to get it perfect. I think I'm gonna start down here. I'm gonna go one, two. Let's do that. One. Six, seven, eight. So we'll go down. song is fun. Hopefully we have a, enough extra of this gold yarn so we can add some eyelids because otherwise I'm going to have to cut some yarn off of the end of the ball and I don't want to do that if I can avoid it. Let's see how this is going. Yeah, that's pretty good so far. Cool. Pattern for the pug coming soon. It's going to be in the rough drafts first, though, for members to give me advice. She does everything asks, will this video be up when the live is over? It absolutely will be. All the live streams are up after the live is over, and you can find them all by going to clubcrochet.com slash live, L-I-V-E, and that's where all the live streams exist. So you can rewatch any of them.
that mouth's coming together. The mouth, to me, always looks really weird. The whole face looks really weird right before I add the teeth. I'm always like, ooh, I don't like the look of this face. And then I add the teeth and I'm like, never mind, I like it. Same thing happens with goblins and stuff. I'm always like very questioning of it prior to adding the teeth. Okay, so let's count over. Yeah, we can try that. Is making a Club Crochet account free? Yes, it is. Uh, you can have a basic account for free, and it gives you access to uh, a, a lot of the patterns. It doesn't give you access to all the patterns, though. If you want access to all the patterns, get a membership account, which uh, you will be asked for. As you sign up, you can say, oh, I want to get a membership account instead of just a basic free account. The membership account is free uh, as a trial, so it's not permanently free. It'll be, you'll get charged after I think a couple of weeks. Um, but you can cancel any time. You can cancel it before you get charged too if you just want to try it out. And if you don't like it, you can cancel it whenever you want. And it's five dollars a month. Um, you can also get it like a whole year of it for for um, fifty dollars, which basically gives you like two months for free. go like this and then the last one like that Got it. What needle is this? I don't know. It's a darning needle with a crimped end. I actually want to start getting these available to sell in the shop because uh, these are my favorite needles. I use them for like everything now. They're very good. We're going to cover up some of that with a tooth once we get it on. Let's double knot this. <laughs> Good night, Tina. Thanks for joining. We'll see you on Wednesday. Okay, so we got our mouth. We just need to add our teeth and then our eyelids, which will help also with the face a lot. I kind of like how short the mouth is. I don't know why, but it looks a lot shorter than the other ones. Maybe it won't later, but I kind of like that. Jack-o'-lantern earrings? That's such a cute idea. Wow. Yeah, we definitely made it over 250 likes. You guys are crazy. Awesome. Thank you. That's so cool. You guys just rock. All right. Let's add some teeths. As they say. Toofs. Let's go with This reminds me of Disneyland. tooth sewn on. Stuff that little knot back in there. Ah, 
Not bad, not bad. Now we want another tooth on the other side. How much longer we got? Like 10 to 15 minutes. I'd like to get to round 17 or 18 if we can. That's our goal. Actually, we, I, I'd like to get to round like 12. That would be fun too. So we just need to finish up sewing on these teeth and then we can crochet a little bit more and then I'll call it. And we'll be back on next Wednesday. I would try adding more teeth. I, you know what? I actually haven't, which which is pretty surprising. I, I really just like adding the two teeth, but you could add more. Um, I think it'd be a lot easier to add more teeth if you wanted to do um, like a... What do with this? Right there's fine. If you wanted to use like uh, felt for the teeth, that might be a little easier if you want to add more teeth because two teeth already with um, crocheted teeth is like kind of a lot but you could probably do more it just probably be easier with felt this side. just morph this face for a second so I can get these teeth sewn on and then I'll fix it all up we'll add some eyelids and keep on crocheting so many well ways to sp Spell frog. I spell it F R A W G. Frog. I will look at that little frog. Have I shown you the frogs? Here's a frog. These are the. These are going to be the new pattern. That's actually what I used to, to make the, pug. It's a. It's a, new pattern I'm working on. It's called a frog. And my favorite part of the frog is this. You can squeeze it really hard. <laughs> look at his face. It goes. <laughs> Let's stuff this knot back in there. Let's use the scissors for it. Okay, teeth are on. A little, a couple eyelids, and we'll be good. Fresh, fresh. <laughs> That's how Hamilton says frog. Hey, Hamilton, by the way. Thanks for joining. Frayer. I love the frayer. We're gonna go right there with the eyelid. I always love adding that under eyelid. I don't know why, I just feel like it gives it so much more character. Like look at it there, and then look at it here. Here it looks like, uh, here it looks like, hello. Like he's a dragon that's got something to tell you. It just gives it more character to me. More, more emotion. Okay, another eyelid. Go like up to there. Across to like right, I don't know, right here maybe? Ugh, let's see how this goes. Yes, yes! This side looks way more grumpy than the other side. The eyebrows. But that's okay. That's okay. Maybe he's thinking. He's like, double knot. I did not. Out. I did not hit her. I did not. Out. Oh, hi, Mark. Put that to the side. And cool. We're good. We got a face. We got a face for our dragon. How long we got? Okay, 10 more minutes. Let's let's rock and roll here. We gotta get going. We got one stitch already done on this round. Okay, we need 
decrease. Jimbo really wants to hang out. Like, meow, save me. Save me from being not with you. And round nine is done. Quick and easy. Perfecto. God, this golden dragon's gonna be so cool. He's gonna be so cool. Okay, we're on round 10 now. What time is part two live stream on Wednesday? I think we're going to be going for 4 p.m. I think I'm going to try 4 p.m. Um, I'll try to do it earlier. It's just I have work on Wednesday. So, like, making it work around the li live stream is kind of tricky, you know? Uh, Yevil asks, are you um, limited to one entry? I mean, if you want to try doing two entries, go for it. I would say you're limited to, let's go with like three entries at the very most, um, because we don't want you to submit too many. But uh, And then also, only one of your entries can end up in the final four, uh, whichever one we like the best. But you can enter, I would say, up to three to be reviewed by the moderators and me. 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is what I'm going to try for. I felt like that would be good because people can still watch it at night, and then people that are overseas can watch it in the morning. Uh, I know it is a Wednesday, so I don't know how many people can watch, but uh, it's kind of like the only time on Wednesday I'll really have. I, I, I might try to like move some things around and bump it up a little bit, but we'll see how that goes. One... Ooh. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah. Oh, Jiu Jitsu. What a cool thing to learn. That's awesome. What a awesome hobby all right i'm gonna stuff the head just a itty bitty bit just to make it a little easier for us to manage but his head's looking pretty good to me Okay, now I'm on to round 12. We made it to round 12. Okay, let's see how many rounds. Let's see if we can make it all the way to round... Um, we'll go all the way to round 15, and then, I'll, and then I'll be it. So we got just a few more rounds. It's all going to be single crochet, so it should be pretty quick. Uh, I, just, I did just skip a stitch, though. Round 12. Here's round 13. So for the challenge, do you want just 
to do a crochet castle and add whatever you want for it. Basically, um, basically crochet a castle uh, and submit it. Like that, that's really it. You can use the castle pattern as your template um, to make whatever castle you want. Uh, you can add. You can make a whole scene with a moat and a and like a dragon protecting it, or you can do really just make a cool picture with a crocheted uh, castle, and your castle can be whatever you want it to be. So you can do like a uh, like a dark um, like like Dracula's castle or something like that. Customize it if you want. You can use a like you can make up a completely different pattern for it or whatever you want. Really, the rules are very flexible on how you make your castle. We do, yeah, there's a pattern for the castle at clubcrochet.com slash castle and it's completely free. At least during this, uh, during the giveaway or during the challenge. Okay, so we did 12, 13, 14. Oh, this will be the end. 15, four rounds of single crochets. There we go, we did it. Right? Yep. Where's the other round there? Yeah, there we go. We finished up round 15. I'm gonna make sure we have it checked off on, our, on the pattern so that when I come back, I remember where I'm at. Uh, by the way, all the patterns on the website have check marks built in. And recently, uh, I, our, the website guy, his name's uh, Jimmy, uh, he's my good bud from college, he helped make it so that um, on the website, if you do check marks, it holds on to the check marks now. So you, you don't have to be locked, like it'll keep the check marks whether you're logged in or not so you can keep track of where you're at. Um, it's a new thing that I think is really cool. I need to like post a video about it and talk about it more because it's like so cool. Um, anyhow, guys, thank you so much for joining. We got to get out of here because Jules needs to sit up for an event that she's doing. I will be back Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to finish up our Golden Dragon. <clears throat> Let's get the golden yarn up here. Um, and we're going to be doing two, a give, giving away two dragon kits on Wednesday. So make sure to join. We'll do one live. And even if you can't join it live, check out the video because I'll have explanations on how to um, be entered for the giveaway for <coughs> if you're not live too. So we'll do a live stream giveaway and a not live giveaway. So make sure to check it out. Um, it'll just be at clubcrochet.com slash live. Uh, I'll send out an email for it if you have an account. And regardless, guys, thank you so much for joining. Everybody that's donated, oh my God, thank you so much for donating. Um, and thank you for becoming a Club Crochet member if you have. I'm gonna get this as a crochet kit, uh, hopefully later today, if not, definitely before Wednesday. So check in there if you wanna try to get a dragon kit uh, with all the materials that you need. And um, yeah, guys, have a great Sunday. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, thanks for joining. Pasta la pizza. I'll tell I'll Daniel, I'll tell Jules you say good luck. And we'll we be doing a live stream on October 3rd. Yes, I think so. Yeah, I think we will be doing a, a live stream on October 3rd. Um, is that your birthday, Cold Blooded Adventures? Oh, show the parts done. Yeah, sure thing, Alice. So we did this the next uh, the head and the neck. We've got both the arms. There's both the arms. We've got both the legs. There's both the legs. Um, we've got the spikes done. And both the wings are done. So now really all that we have left is to keep crocheting, crocheting the body and then sewing everything together. And then I really want to make a, um, uh, like, what's it called? Like a harness so that a goblin or something can be riding it, you know? Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. Oh my God. Stop. You're so bad. Uh, <laughs> Bobby, you hang up. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, you're so bad. How do I go away? There we go. Bye. Oh my god. Stop it. I'm blushing. Oh my god, I'm blushing so much. Stop.
you hang up. Oh my god, bye! <laughs> no, bye! You hang up first.